My name is Suzanne Geist. I'm a state senator for District 25. There we go. I've introduced a bill this morning that will end the practice of a brutal and unthinkable abortion method here in Nebraska. It's the live dismemberment of unborn children. Regardless of our individual opinions on the issue of abortion, I think we can all agree that no living human being should be torn apart limb by limb. And I want to clarify this process for you. In a dismemberment abortion, which occurs between 13 and 24 weeks, the bodies of a living human being is torn apart and removed from the womb piece by piece until they bleed to death. This pr procedure is gruesome and it's barbaric. It's been described by a current abortionist as being beyond denial that is an act of destruction. It has no place in modern medicine and it is not something that should be happening in our society. We simply should not tolerate it any longer. In introducing this bill, we're taking a stand against this practice. LB 814, you'll want to remember that, will protect unborn children from having to endure the brutality of dismemberment. It will protect the public's trust in the medical profession as those who heal our bodies and make us whole. It will also protect society itself from becoming desensitized to the value of human life. LB 814 does not remove access to abortion in Nebraska. It simply requires that one particular method, that of dismemberment abortion between weeks 13 and 24, is no longer practiced in our state. I hope that all of us in this legislature can come together in agreement over the next few weeks to condemn this practice. We need to protect our unborn children from dismemberment. We need to preserve the public trust in the medical profession, and we need to protect society itself from the degrading effects of a practice which Justice Anthony Kennedy has described as laden with the power to devalue human life. No living human being should be torn apart limb by limb. Let us come together and end dismemberment abortion in Nebraska. I would like to invite representatives from Nebraska Right to Life, Nebraska Catholic Conference, and Nebraska Family Alliance to come forward and offer their comments. First, we'll hear from Nebraska Family Alliance. Thank you, Senator Geis. My name is Karen Bowling, and I am the Executive Director at Nebraska Family Alliance. No living human being should be dismembered limb by limb. The bodily dismemberment of living pre-born babies is barbaric, inhumane, and degrading to human life. There should be no place for such gruesome procedure in our society today. Pre-born babies are not simply puzzles to be pieced back together after an abortion. They are babies deserving of love and compassion. Those trained in the art of healing and working tirelessly to make bodies whole should not be performing bodily dismemberment on living, breathing, innocent baby girls and boys. The medical profession is an honorable profession and we must protect society's trust and confidence in doctors. There is no place in modern medicine for the inhumane practice of dismemberment abortion. As a lifelong Nebraskan, I know that we are a compassionate people. We can lovingly care for both the mother and her baby and end the brutality of dismemberment abortion. And that's why Nebraska Family Alliance is honored to stand wholeheartedly with Senator Geist and support LB814. Thank you. And now I'll introduce Julie Schmidt Alban. She is the Executive Director at Nebraska Right to Life. Julie? Thank you, Karen. 
My name is Julie schmidt Alban. I'm Executive Director of Nebraska Right to Life. Can you imagine what it would feel like to be torn limb from limb until you bleed to death? Now put yourself in the place of a defenseless unborn baby who is aborted via this method known as dismemberment abortion. We thank Senator Geis for seeking to ban this heinous practice via LB 814. When the abortion industry practices brutal techniques, it only makes sense for lawmakers to seek to end those practices, just as they have with the partial birth abortion ban and abortions after 20 weeks based upon fetal pain, as has been done in Nebraska. Thank you, Senator Geist, and Nebraska Right to Life will make this our priority legislation to pass this session. Thank you. My name is Marion Miner, uh, and I'm here on behalf of the Nebraska Catholic Conference in support of Senator Geist and LB 814. We enthusiastically support this effort to end dismemberment abortion in Nebraska. Laws similar to LB 814 have been passed in about a dozen states already. Um, some of those laws are currently in litigation. Um, others have not been challenged and are in full effect. We are eager to see this law passed and confident in its constitutionality. It protects unborn children from having to endure a particularly brutal procedure, protects the integrity of the medical profession, and prevents the deterioration of society's understanding of the value of human life. <clears throat> Excuse me. In these ways, it is similar to the federal partial birth abortion ban of 2003, which was upheld by the Supreme Court in the Gonzalez case in 2007. Dismemberment of living unborn children is deeply wrong, and in Nebraska, which has always prided itself for laws that demonstrate our value for human life, there is no reason it should still be happening. We stand behind Senator Geis um, and all of her co-sponsors and commend this effort to end this dehumanizing practice in Nebraska.